Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Peter Lankner. I am from Hamburg, Germany. As a SAP consultant, my SAP logon is flooded with system entries and I somehow have to remember all these passwords. The most people I know use either more or less the same password for the system or they use something like Excel where they keep their passwords protected with a master password. Both ways of doing it are not very secure. Since I have to remember not only the user and passwords of the SAP systems, but also of a lot of websites and other applications, I was very happy to find this excellent open source software KeyPath, a lightweight and easy to use password manager. After you have downloaded this software from KeyPath.info and installed it on your system, you can create different databases. In my case, the database is called SAP Inside Track Hamburg 2012. Each database is protected with a master password. It also allows you to create different directories and subdirectories. And the content within the database is encrypted. So, in this my example, I have already made one entry for an SAP system, and let's have a look at its details. For each entry you can give a title, in my case it is the system name and the client. You can enter the username, you can enter the password, the quality of the password is shown, you can enter an URL and some notes. So the thing I'm going to talk about is how this URL is built and what it does. But before we talk about it in detail, I want to show you how you can log on to the SAP system using a key path. And you do this by either click up here to the URL or down here, where in this window the details of the selected entry are shown. And then the system immediately logs you on to the SAP system. I'm going to show you how the secret works. Above here you see the string I have entered in the URL and it all starts with this three letters here CMD. They stand for command and they allow you to run a program. Um, then uh, what is the program we are going to run? It's this here. It's called SAP Shortcut which has different parameters with the following meaning. First of all, you have to uh, tell the system uh, which system, which SAP system you want to log on to. In my case, this is NSP. You have to tell it which is the client you want to log into. In my case, this is 100. Then you have to enter the username and here you can very nicely uh, refer to the username you have entered in the username field in KeyPath. The same refers to the password. Um, you can also refer to the password you have entered in KeyPath. Finally, I have also entered a language parameter. This allows me to log into the system in English, although the standard language in my case, of course, is German. There are some other parameters and all the parameters you can use with SAP shortcut you find in this SAP note. So that's it. I have to say goodbye and I hope that this gives benefit to you as much as it did to me.